What's cherry guys? Today you're gonna learn how to properly style colored clothing, not style colored people. Like I know, I know the difference. I probably. But I'm gonna break it down into three things, and they're gonna be complementary, anal analogous, and monochromatic. So yeah, let's take a spin at the color wheel of fortune. First up, we got complementary colors, and this one's in the name, complementary. We got the flirty ass colors that gas themselves up every day, but only if they're on the opposite ends of the color wheel. Example being, like if you have a strong color for a top, like a bright red, it's probably best you stray away from something that won't match with it, like a dark yellow, you know? Ba, 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 ba. You I'm a hype this. beast. But complementary colors can also be used as a cherry tool to bring another layer to your fit. Example being like these two colors, complementary of each other, so literally layering them together would look perfect. This is because of a thing called yeah. color theory. I'm not making this up. A lot of people in the advertising industry or artists yeah. use this. And as fashion is a form of advertising insecurities, <laughs> It should work fine here too. When mixing complementary colors, I like to keep one as a primary and the other one as more of an accent so it doesn't feel like the outfit's kind of fighting itself. Example being here where I decide to make the complemented color my socks so they both work well but are not trying to one-up each other. But really, it creates a good call and response with your outfit if the colors complement each other well enough. Again, the color theory isn't a rule per se but more so just a guideline to follow when you don't know how you feel about something. A lot of times, the fits kind of break the color theory but you know, they still look cherry AF so I don't see the problem. Them. don't confine yourself to something if you think something looks good to your eyes then just play by how you feel next up we got analogous colors now this is the other way you can match colored clothing and that's by keeping them within the same color palette example being like these fits all of them have color but all are analogous with one another which means they're side by side on the color wheel so it creates a very cohesive yet still flavorful outfit this one's really good for keeping a theme like if you get a lot of the same pieces within the same color palette it's easy to mix and match your entire wardrobe instead of having single situation pieces you know, it's cool every now and then to have a one night stand, you know, it's fine. Like it happens. It's edgy. But what you need is that long term. You'll feel better. You'll get more wear out of the same pieces. And overall, you, you get like more value guy. because if you have more pieces to oh, mix yeah, and match, you, you won't get bored of wearing the same exact outfit Nightmare. all the goddamn time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Go, oh, yo, kiss. Oh, yeah. So keep that in mind when shopping for some cool stuff. Lastly, we got monochrome, and this one's the easiest as you don't really have to try sometimes. You can just take it a step further and alternate the shading and tone to make it spicier. An all black fit is cool, but when you start tinting the colors and making them slightly different, you get a way more interesting fit with basically the same color selection. I wouldn't say going all one color is the move, but you know, who am I to talk, obviously. But having a single dominant color and the rest as a grayscale is probably the most common and easiest combo to pull off as black pants and like a colored top is really just the move all the time. But you know, some of you are already doing it and you don't even know. But yeah, I also on the real, I know I've been doing a lot of brand deals lately and if it comes off sell out ish. I'd honestly never promote something that I don't personally believe in, but I've been listening to you guys and you've been very audible about how you feel. This video is sponsored by Audible, which is a service where they have an insane collection of books, self-development, fiction, audio shows, you know, whatever you want to listen to when you get tired of my shit. <laughs> Personally, I've been listening to a lot of self-development stuff. I just wrapped up this one called There's Atomic Habits terrible. by James no, Clear, which breaks down terrible. everything you need to automate yourself into becoming the person that you want to be in the future. Very cherry book for people starting off the New Year's. It's honestly really helped me structure my life and is helping my channel grow right now, but you can get any book you want as they have a massive selection and they're doing a deal right now. For a limited time, you can get three months for $6.95 a month. Go to audible.com slash cherry. Yeah, I got that URL. But if you don't have Wi-Fi or whatever, you can always just text Cherry to 500-500 and get started as well. FBI, open up! But yeah, just make sure you go check it out. I promise you might like it. Or if you don't know where to start, you can get from Audible Originals, which is a great selection of Audible exclusive titles. There's something for everyone. Audible.com slash Cherry or just text Cherry to 500-500. Okay, so thanks for watching the video, guys. And again, thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. Go check them out. Everything is in the description. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT. Email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything. And yeah, guys, stay cherry.